Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Object 430U, that's the Tier 10 Soviet medium tank, and we're located on the North Spawn of Fisherman's Bay, and it's being commanded by Captain Ashstorm. Yes, uh, you know him very well from his other three plays, and he's uh, quite an active member of What Are Nibs. And even though he's playing a tank, we still do his replays because we enjoy them. Okay, what can we say about the Object 430U? Well, it was a, um, another version of the Object 430 medium tank. Um, they changed around the engine. They um, made a transverse engine and they put two planetary transmissions on it. Um, mostly to try and increase the size of the crew compartments and make it uh, faster, more nimble. Uh, but also to have pretty heavy armor. It's um, a bit of a cross really because it's more like a heavy than a medium, uh, but it's more like um, a medium than a heavy, if you see what I mean. It's, um, it, it's, it doesn't fill any of the normal categories. It's uh, like a heavy medium or a medium heavy. Yeah, probably something like that. Okay. Now, he's looking at the target, he's 75, puts a shell in, 498 hit points, but he gets hit by a return shot from the SU-101 tank destroyer. His teammate's just been taken up, Progetto 46, gonna put a shell into that E-75. Yep, 453 hit points on that. And he's got a nice spot in on the E-100. Ooh, bounce a shell from a Panther 2! 240, and he's angling. Good job. I don't want to let those shells in. There's Progetto there. It's the tier 8 version, the uh, premium version. Okay, he's going behind that tank, so he's not going to be able to shoot at him. Not for the moment, not unless he comes out. Holding his position in the centre. There's an E50M off to the uh, west. And he's engaging three tanks, but there's Pachetto. Made a big mistake there, revealed himself, and he's been taken out the game completely. So he gets 1,034 hit points of uh, spotting and uh, damage assistance there. That was very useful. He's done 1,300 damage of zone and 1,100 spotting damage. Acting more like a light tank than a medium. Okay, AMX. 80s AC 48 puts a nice shot into the side 436 but pulls back unfortunately that wrecks in the way so we need to turn around it yep and the E100 just took a big hit unfortunately he wasn't the one who was spotting it at the time see these rounds shooting in that was an RT round just went in on the E100 it's the Panther 2 that fired at him earlier. There's a gap there, but his teammate in the ISM is nearby. The Panther 2 goes around that corner. He can help. I think the ISM's got that handle. He has lost a lot of damage, but I think he's side scraping on that corner quite nicely. Now, going to go for the 100 Well, not really, because he hasn't backed up far enough. And the Panther 2, well, he's covered by those houses. He's around the other side. But there's another enemy closer. It's the SU-101, the one that hit him earlier in the battle. And I think he's going to be bold enough to go forward and put some shots into that SU-101. And he's taken fire. The SU-101 took fire. And he got a shot in, but the oh no! I think that just went into the tracks. He's driven up behind the SU-101. He's going to shoot directly into his hatch. Yep, okay, that's the end of him. Thank you very much. But ouch, he just got hit by the enemy GWE 100. That's the tier 10 RT. He lost 452 hit points of HG. 2 HG, rather. Now, is he going to go down into the town? I think so. He's going to dash down there quickly, deal with the Panther 2 and the 100. Now, he needs to make sure he gets down there quickly, because otherwise the enemy might take pop shots at him while he's on the way down. Gonna come up behind the Panther 2, who's gonna be aiming in the other direction. There he is. Thank you very much. 413 hit points right into your rear. The Panther 2's gonna be realizing there's somebody behind them. Yeah, he's turned around and pushes him off. 
254 hit points, but he did receive a hit there from the enemy RT, the full 7, seven hit points from the uh, GWE. I think he's going to go after that uh, GWE now. They've dealt with the uh, Yag Panther. Was it um, Zaborsik as well? The, uh, oh no, Zaborsik was the on the enemy team. Managed to kill our, um, a standard B managed to kill our Borsig. But they've dealt with the Yag Panther anyway, so now it's just a question of finding this GWE, putting him out of his misery. Purely because he's the enemy, not the not because we don't uh, we don't like Arty. We love Arty because, of course, we don't like the enemy Arty simply because they are the enemy. Now, there's the E75, the one he fired at earlier, and he's side on. He's completely oblivious to the fact that uh, Captain Ash Storm is there, and you can see one of the RT shells went right through the roof this turret. There's the GWE. Time to return the favour. See him, and he's running away. And no, you don't. I've got you. 340 hit points. That's his third kill. Now, there's a weapon check out of Pads of Fear up on the other side of the battlefield. He's down to a quarter of his health, and he is in sight, so he can actually do something about this. He's moving up to the bushes. No, he's over the ridge line. We're going to have to move further up. But we, can we get that scorpion? Yes, we can get the scorpion. Scorpion can't see us. Round goes in. But unfortunately he was unspotted at the time the shell landed, so he doesn't know how much damage, but he would have been seen, I would have thought. He didn't see his six cents go off. He didn't use the bush mechanic when he fired. There's the KB4. And he can hit that. He fires around into his rear. 437 hit points. He's now up to 3.4k of damage. The Scorpion's been visible again. He's up near the centre line, but he's going to go after the Scorpion KB4 again. It's 496. He's just offering his rear. I think he may have gone AFK. He's not even moving. And so he's easy damage. He's just farmed that damage off the KB4. Claims the soul. Four kills. Comes up to the wreck of the GWE. Goes past him. Now he's off to the corner to find that weapon trader. Scorpion's been killed. He was taken out by our weapon trader. Now the weapon trader is a dangerous opponent. Don't want any more holes in the vehicle. Where is he? Well, he's more than likely going to be over the far side of this corner. So he's going to drop into the dip for a second. Move as far over as he can, come up around the bushes. There's the weapon trader, okay? And he's not looking in our direction, and that's the end of him! 373 hit points, and that brings up the high caliber. One more kill, and he's got a top gun. Oh, there's only one enemy left. It's the M103, and he's down the other end of the battlefield. It's going to be a long drive to get down there. I don't think that uh, M103 is going to last that long. He's going to have to motor. No, it's a Centurion 71 and M103. There's a lot of tanks after that M103, so I don't think he's going to survive. No, he's taken a lot of damage already. Probably get a shot in from here, but it's going to be a very difficult shot. Trying into the Coppola. Fires around in. No, he hits the dirt. 406 hit points went off from that shot. Oh, and the ISU 152 derps him for the rest of his uh, health with a troll cannon. And that is the end of the game. So the win eight was 5-0-1-5 from that battle alone. And I think it probably was higher because there was at least one blind shot on the Scorpion. The one that he fired from the bush because the Scorpion disappeared just as the shell went out. So he didn't actually get, pick up the uh, exact tally of how much damage was done off that shot alone. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a second class tanker for Captain Ash Storm in the Object 430U. He also picked up a spotter badge for getting at least a thousand hit points of spotting damage and winning the battle. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits and that's exactly what he did get. He also picked up a duelist for taking down two enemy tanks that did damage to him during the battle. And now obviously one of those was the uh, Panther, um, the GWE 100. 
Um, and I think the other one was the SU-101, of course. Um, and uh, he also picked up a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five and a fire for effect for dealing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. And lastly, the high caliber. He dealt the most damage in the battle, um, at least 20% of the enemy hit points and more than 1,000 hit points in total. So let's have a look at the team scores, see where he stands. Top of the table on damage, 5124. Uh, top of the table on kills with five and top of the table on base XP of 1098. So he's got the full set there at the top. Um, he fired 16 rounds, got 13 direct hits, 13 penetration, 5,124 hit points of damage, of which 2,357 was at more than 300 meters. The SU-101 was right up his posterior. Um, he received five hits during that battle. Three were penetrations, two were non-penetrations. He blocked damage at 240 hit points, and he spotted four enemy vehicles. He did uh, damage to nine of the enemy, that's three-fifths of the enemy team, and killed five of them, that's one-third of the enemy team. He did damage assistance of 1,630 hit points. On a premium account, he earned 77,631 credits, and after his repair and ammunition resupply, he still took home 44,816 credits, and that's pretty good for a tier 10 medium tank. He received 1,647 XP, but it was times 5 for the uh, first victory of the day, and he had a personal reserves bonus game for the same amount for 100%, so he took away 9,882 experience points altogether. That's a huge amount. And of course, he hates this map. Well, mm, horses for courses. Uh, you hate this map, I hate Paris. Uh, <laughs> You can't play arty on Paris. It's so difficult. Uh, and I'm an arty person, so I like arty maps that are arty friendly. Open maps where you can easily hit the enemy no matter where they go. Uh, anyway, <laughs> really good replay there, Captain Ash Storm. Thanks for sending in the replay. Um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.